You don't have to live close to the wildfires to be affected by them. The smoke is traveling across Southern California. We're joined now live by Dr. Scott Epstein from the South Coast Air Quality Management District with more on the air quality and how to keep yourself safe. Welcome. I can't wait to get to your inventions in just a minute. <laughs> um, but let's just talk about what's in the air right now, what we're actually breathing. Yeah, so there's two main concerns right now. So one is smoke which produces fine particle pollution that uh, can pose some serious health hazards if you breathe that in. Uh, fortunately, right now, there's not a lot of smoke coming from the local wildfires. Uh, we're seeing air quality index levels in the good to moderate range. That's green and yellow. Air quality index is a way of taking <clears throat> measured levels of air pollution and communicating them in these common colors that you see uh, to give people advice on what they can do to protect themselves. However, the other issue we're worried about is windblown ash uh, mm -hmm. from the burned areas. So as the winds pick up later today, it's gonna push this ash uh, into the region. Ash, you, you can see it in the air, it's visible, it doesn't necessarily show up on our AQI maps. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and that ash is either white or gray fine particles. So if you see that ash in the air, or your air quality index is elevated, you want to take precautions. Well, that's, we live about seven miles from the Palisades fire, oh. and I was shocked to wake up the other day and see everything coated in that yeah. gray ash that you're talking about. So inside your house, you really do want to think about protecting yourself when it comes to breathing in the air inside. Totally, yeah. So, so first, if you have to be outside, you want to minimize heavy outdoor exertion. An N95 mask can provide some protection if it fits well, but the best thing to do is try and stay inside, keep your windows and doors closed, and do your best to clean the indoor air. I know, mm -hmm. so how are we cleaning so, it? Yes, let's yeah. go with what we can just buy and then also what we can invent. Sure, <laughs> <Your science Okay. laughs> So this is just a typical air purifier that you can buy at a store on Amazon. What does this cost about? Uh, this one is about $200, yeah. and then you pay to replace the filters, but they're not too expensive. Um, however, they're, they're impossible to find right now. Yeah, right? Everybody bet. bought them up. Um, but there are things that you can do yes. at home. Let's make our own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is, we're not going to build this right this now. This is amazing. So this is one that I built a few years ago at home. But we're going to build kind of a simpler version of that okay. uh, right here. So I, I went to the big box store yesterday and spent $50. So okay. I bought this, uh, this uh, air conditioning filter. So you may notice this. You may have one of these in your HVAC system. Yep. If you do, run it because mm -hmm. your okay. HVAC system does a really good job of, of removing uh, pollution. But if you wanna go to the store, you wanna look for one that's roughly 20 by 20, okay. and it's either rated MERV 13 or higher, or this FPR 12 or higher. And that means that the filter is equipped to remove smoke. So I bought this, and then I bought just a standard box fan. fan. Yeah, maybe we can pull this out okay. here. I have less than a minute, but okay. I will show you. So two this. things I did before Ooh. I got here is I put on this cardboard shroud right here with this circle in the middle. That increases the efficiency of these things. Oh. And then also, I wasn't able to find a 20 by 20 um, filter, but I found a 24 by 20, so I just added this little piece of strip of cardboard right here. And all we need to do is line up the arrow to make sure that we suck air through the filter. And we're gonna use some duct tape and just tape and just that all tape the way around. around. That's right. genius. Yeah. Thank so you. simple Thank and under 50 you. bucks. Uh, $50. And this is a temporary solution. You want to remember the box fan needs to be a 2012 model or newer. Those are the only fans that have safety mechanisms to prevent overheating. Scott okay. Epstein, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it.